What is going on everyone? Platinum Bees coming at you with yet another video today. Today we're going to be talking about why people sometimes quit stacking precious metals. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, y'all. So why do people quit stacking precious metals? Well, if you're like me, you initially got into precious metals by stacking silver. You might have seen a video on YouTube talking about silver and its investment potential. You might have seen Robert Kiyosaki or any of the big names saying silver is the best thing ever. Maybe you were just watching TV and you saw one of them old Roslyn Capital videos or advertisements, right? And you thought, hmm, is that a good investment? Well, I personally think it's not a bad investment, silver, as well as platinum and gold. But today we're going to be talking about why people quit, why people give up, and why people just throw in the towel way too soon. So realistically speaking, stacking precious metals like silver and platinum and even gold can get very old and very boring very quickly, okay? When you watch the news and you read the headlines and you check out news articles about investments and money being made and where it's being made and things like that, you see that stuff like silver and platinum and gold are really slow-moving investments. Over time, they've proven that they go up but it's just so incredibly slow. And so a lot of people get caught up in the idea that, oh, you know, had I just taken that $1,000 or $2,000 and put it into Tesla or Bitcoin or any other crazy stock or market or company or whatever, like Nvidia, I would have been much, much better off. But realistically speaking, when buying precious metals and buying any investment class, you can't really let yourself go there, right? You can't really let yourself think about what if I did this instead, because that's going to drive you insane. And that's really going to wear on your ability to see clearly and think clearly about just investing smartly and wisely, right? Yes, maybe if you bought a few shares of Nvidia instead of something like silver or platinum or gold, you might have ended up better off, right? I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That's just the simple truth. But also, had you just gone to the casino and put it all in the slot machine and pulled one time in the high stakes room, you may have won a million dollars there as well. So realistically speaking, nobody's really able to time the market of any given asset class, including silver, platinum, and gold. So you have to make sure that you don't allow yourself to fall into that category of people who sees something else as a missed opportunity and then gets out of their initial investment into what they initially thought was going to produce something for them. At the end of the day, a lot of people have a lot of different opinions about stacking precious metals, platinum, gold, and silver. And I'm sure I'm going to get comments down below. That's a dumb idea to stack. It's a smart idea to stack. All I do is stack. I stack a little bit, blah, 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 blah. Everyone has an opinion and everyone has different ideas and thoughts and not everyone agrees with me and I understand that. But as far as it comes to stacking and why it's important to not allow yourself to become one of those individuals who just gets out because they're just tired of it, right? Realize going in and realize as you are stacking, as most of y'all are probably seasoned stackers who watch my channel, but maybe we'll get a new person here and there. The important thing to realize is don't have all your eggs in one basket and make sure that you realize going into stacking that this is not a get rich quick scheme. You're not going to get rich quick. You could, I suppose, a few people have been able to get in and then the market goes crazy right after they got in. You know, March of 2020, we really kind of saw that. Before March, you buy below $20 an ounce silver. After March, you'll never see below $20 an ounce of silver ever again, right? And the same with gold and, you know, at different times, platinum. 
And so, yes, some people do get lucky in that regard and they, you know, they see their investment go up substantially in a short amount of time. But realistically, when it comes to stacking, it's mainly a long-term hold, right? I personally believe, in my own opinion, silver just continues to go up as time goes on. Gold just continues to go up. It's a slow burn, right? We slowly watch it increase in value. It's not like it went from a dollar to $2,000 overnight gold or a dollar to $1,000 overnight platinum or what have you. It was a very slow process and a very long, arduous process. Now with platinum, I recently made a video talking about its speculative play aspect. And yes, platinum can go to the moon within just a year or so. And it's proven it has in the past and a lot of people think it's gonna as well again in the future. However, I buy this stuff mainly just to sit on it and hope for the best. It's not nearly my entire investment portfolio at all. This is just a small piece that I share with y'all on this channel because this channel is mainly regarding precious metal stacking with a heavy emphasis on platinum and my beliefs around that metal. But it's important. It's important to realize that we got to hold strong, right? I don't want to sound like one of those Wall Street bets people, but hold, right? H-O-D-L or whatever the meme stuff is these days. You know, hold your precious metals, hold your horses, hold everything, right? If you hold and you have the ability to hold, chances are you're going to see that investment grow over time. How much time? It's anybody's guess. But if you have the stamina and the ability to hold and not you know, panic sell or on the flip side, panic buy, you can probably come out on top overall. But that's my thoughts and opinions on why people quit stacking and how you can avoid yourself falling into that camp. Just stay strong, stay vigilant, remain calm, and just anytime that you see something else and that's sort of influencing your decision or your thinking process, just take a step back and say, you know, is this worth changing everything about my investment strategy? And if it's not, well, then you could, should probably just hold strong and keep on doing what you're doing. But I hope y'all are having a wonderful week this week. Thanks y'all for stopping by and checking out the video today. I greatly appreciate it. I always appreciate y'all stopping by and watching my videos and leaving comments in the comment section. Be sure to hit that like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button so you can always stay up to date with future updates on the Platinum Beast channel. With all that being said, until next time, we'll see y'all.